Hey, hey, what's up there, YouTube? It's your buddy Will for our music, or What's Up in the Sky 37. Uh, this is a NASA page, so you're going to be looking at my What's Up in the Sky 37 account. Uh, check out if you're into like Ron Paul type politics. Check that stuff out on uh, or just music. I got my music up on Will for our music uh, site here. But let's go on out to this is a this is a neat photograph. It's from the uh, Spirit rover. It was taken and put out by Cornell University. It's a big file. I downloaded this uh, big long. This is 106 megabyte TIFF, so it's really great looking. It's given false color by them, um, but you can check it out here. Um, it's of the Mur McMurdo panorama let's see all right let's start off there's a couple there's like three or four things on here that are actually kind of neat um, let's start off over on this side let's find it first all right where are you okay we're gonna go there you are right there so we're like right actually in the center here. Um, there's the rover, so we're right here. And we are going to look at this first. It's an interesting uh, lip. It is almost lipped here. And it looks like it's rounded off really nice. And this looks like it could be a face. And that could just be what it looks like. Um, but there's some interesting stuff here. These rocks are wonderful. And I wonder, like with Mars, they found the pyramids. Think about the pyramids. They found the pyramids. A lot of it was under the sand. And so was, uh, you know, the... The Sphinx was buried up to its head um, in some of the pictures I saw of it. So imagine for all the dust storms that are out there and look all this loose dust, imagine what's under this stuff that we can't see, especially if a civilization was there two million years ago and, and they, when they had running water up there, which I think we're slowly moving in our science to, to believe that, um, that that is the case. Um, so let's go through this photograph. Let's look at some of the stuff like right here. This is very interesting just a random thing out there and you grab this photograph and just take a look yourself I haven't really looked over here much on this side of it I found so much on the other side um, but here you see these they're kinda they're these light patches you know they're kinda interesting how they work and they're all seem to be a lot of like right here check this out this seems to be lipped whatever this is let me bring it out a little bit so it's not as blurry maybe sharpen it just a tad this is just a standard iMac 27 um, so if you're looking at this I hope you're looking at it in HD um, so let me move back over and show you some of the other stuff there's a rock that was circled I like like out here check this out all right this looks like it was lipped as well see how there's a lip here and it's you can tell it's circleish and you look how nice and rounded off it is it's pretty neat looking rock especially it looks how it's sitting it's buried coming down the hill um, we're out here in the middle of nowhere it's just pretty weird how this is just sitting here like this and look here this is almost uh, squared off this rock and it's actually going down and it cuts out this way I thought that was interesting I thought this stuff was interesting especially like I said that down there was interesting and uh, up here is interesting to me it's almost like another squared out light spot but that for me here that looks very uh, squared off who knows like I said I, I who knows what alien world supposed to look like but to me I love sitting here looking at some stuff and I get these crazy comments I, I don't put rude comments up either because a lot of people are just ignorant and uh, I could care less. They're like, oh, get out. You know, I get out plenty, believe me. I have fun. I enjoy this. This is something I, I've always been interested in since a child. I'm 33 years old. Doing just fine. So check this rock out. That's an interesting rock. And I'll back it out here so you get a better look at it. And when it's blurry like that, it's not the greatest to look at. I wonder if this will work with my zoom. You know, I'll try it to see if you guys can see it zoom. That's the Apple Mac zoom if it worked. If not, just don't mind me. There's one more rock I wanted you to see, and I can't find it. Of course. Let me see. There was a bunch of circles. It was very interesting rock. And it was over one of the red, like over the ridge or something. I already cut this video once, but I didn't have the right layout up. Oh, here we go. Here's some more stuff here. Look, another lip artifact see how it's got that circle lip it's it's if you work with 
shading and with Photoshop. I'm a web designer, like I'm an IT director. I'm not a dumb shit. Excuse my language if you're kid listening to this. But see how that's lit? The shading on it is perfect for like a perfect. This would look like a bowl upside down, almost like a stew bowl. And look at this one here with the shading here, here, and here. So it's almost circle here. Um, and to an extent, it's been it carved out, it looks like almost. Um, yeah. And there should be over here. Here it is, right there, my last one. This was the most interesting thing to me because it looks like it's a hole and you can see through it. First, check out this right here. It's almost uh, snake like. But right here, this is a circle upon a circle upon a circle. And you can see it's got one, two, three holes, which is almost the exact same. Let me get it in the center for you guys, which is almost the exact same color as behind it. So we're seeing, we're seeing through that thing if it looks like to me. And uh, to me, I've never seen anything, a rock like that on Earth, and which is, isn't Earth. So it could be something, but check it out. Go download this. Once again, I'll pull up the, let's see, the Safari. Check it out. Much love, guys. Stay tuned. I'll have a lot more. This one was kind of boring. Hope you enjoyed it.